hello to you guys thank you so so very much for waiting let's go ahead and click back in the game here uh we are playing some my time at sandrot today if you're just joining us oh man the tea the tea oh it has been <laughs> a very interesting uh day in sandrock we just had a fireside meeting where trudy was very happy to announce that the tree project which she has pretty much been the basis for, right? Has taken off and it's been great. And somehow at the end of it, it wound up that Matilda deserves to be on the cover of a newspaper article thing that's going to be going around about Soundrock and about these efforts. And like, <sighs> I'm so angry. <laughs> uh, got back from break just in time and I got half a dozen. <gasps> Gourmet cupcakes, are they different flavors? If they are, let us know what they are, because I am I am nosy. And that sounds amazing. <laughs> but yeah, interesting time. I'm I'm excited to see where else this is gonna go. There we go, so there's the steel dagger. Go hand that in. But first, from City Hall, tomorrow's the day for the photo shoot at the Little woods near Gecko Station. The weather is expected to be perfect. Wear your Sunday best. I don't got any of that, so I'll just wear this. <laughs> Crystal attaches the diagram for the electronic display. I thought of putting some more features into it, but I gave up halfway. Katori won't be able to afford it. Wow. That's rude. Two chocolate s'mores, one chocolate strawberry, one lemon blueberry. <gasps> One watermelon, one toasted coconut. Oh my goodness. Enjoy them for us. <laughs> that sounds amazing. Try to share with my husband. Normally he does all the cooking. He's good at keeping me alive. I love that. Okay, so we have the dagger. Um, Sorry, me getting back into the swing of things. We're waiting for construction. <clears throat> Make exhibition stand and rooftop display. Cool. Okay, that looks like a lot already. I'm just gonna run, hand in the commission, and then we'll come back. Or is at least honest about who is really responsible for the project and who's taking credit for it? I hope so too. Ah, uh, Claire, I will when the game actually comes out properly in free to play. They advertise it as free to play. Right now, if you wanna play it, you gotta pay for it, so <laughs> I'm gonna wait. But eventually, yes. Snowy Sitaru, hello! Two years! Holy crap! Or two years. Press or press or press or. <laughs> I'll never get over Brian's wounds. Because <laughs> he sounds so unimpressed. Thank you so much. I hope you're good. I hope you enjoy your new sub badge. Watch as he shows. Oh, oh, Isabel, I like how you think. Hello. Here you go. See ya. Nice. You know what I should have done, chat? It just suddenly dawned on me. I should have shut down the game. Oh. I don't have... Oh, I... Do I have bullets? Apparently I do. I should have shut down the game um, so that I could do that hot patch that they did earlier. But I completely forgot. How does one get up there? This way? There we go. Hey, Squirrel Songs, how are you doing today? <laughs> Brian was already Brian. Yeah, he, that's a. Uh, I think if you go through your text to speech settings on your computer, um, there's different languages and stuff you can choose, and some places might have different names. Uh, but I think the default male voice name for me is Brian, and that's what he sounds like. <laughs> we can still restart. The thing is, I don't know how big the update is, and I don't know if it would conk out my stream. My internet's not that great. So, or else I would. I forget, can I hit these? Well, oh, you get plant fiber from them. True, though. Oh, and I got some wood, too. Nice. 
Uh, reset my second airy CNH island, and now it's the grind to find a good new island map. Best of luck. I know that grind can be very, very tedious. <laughs> uh, hardwood planks times 28. Apparently I can make a lot of them. We might have to go chop some, uh, some trees here, though. We're gonna run out if we're not careful. Um... We need cast iron pipe times 10, so that takes up most of that. And a bronze blade? Bronze blade. Every time I see this game, I'm tempted to get it. It's a lot of fun, honestly. Um, it's just, I don't know, they, they've added a lot. Even earlier today, we ran into new things that I wasn't expecting, and I was so excited for it, like gameplay features. Um, I, I really can't recommend it enough, but it, it's up to you whether or not this is sort, like your sort of deal. Redacted. And redacted, yeah. Um, <laughs> so, wait for construction. Got it memorized. Make the stands, we're working on that. Um, apparently there's something by City Hall. Let's go see what the tea is. Matilda, how's your day going? And also, by the way, just so you know, um, obviously we know you and you're lovely, but there is a Matilda in-game who we've been kind of bashing on, so we're not bashing on you. <laughs> just so you're aware. The one in this game, we're not fond of. That one. <laughs> We're not big on that one. Just, just so you know. I guess just start off with an introduction. Talk a little about yourself. Whatever comes to mind. Yeah, evil Matilda, good Matilda. <laughs> um, I'm Trudy. I've lived in Sandrock my whole life. I was elected mayor here after my husband, Theodore, the former mayor, passed away during a sandstorm. As a citizen, I've watched Sandrock dwindle and nearly shrivel up. So now, it's my job, no, my duty, to keep this place alive. <laughs> duty. Which I couldn't do without the help of all my lovely friends and colleagues, of course. Good, yeah, that's good stuff. We can use that. All right, let's start with the questions. A lot of outsiders find the Sandrock mindset hard to understand. As you said, Sandrock is dwindling. But it seems like all of you still have the capacity to pick up and move somewhere more prosperous. Why not do that? Why stay in this town? Wow, gosh, that's, that's a complicated question to answer. <laughs> Matilda, don't we all, though? If we pick up, I don't. I don't like talking on the phone. Well... Try to keep it compact. You know how readers can be. No attention span these days. Uh, all right. Well, simply put, this place means something to us. For people like me, it's been a part of our lives since childhood. Everything we've ever experienced happened all around this oasis. We do this for Martel, for Rhonda, Theodore, all the people we lost here. The people who loved this place no matter what. If we let Sandrock disappear, we let their memories fade with it and allow their sacrifice to be... <sighs> meaningless. I won't let that happen. Oh, sorry, was that too long? Maybe I can rephrase that. No, uh, I just... that was good. We can use that. Next question. Okay, I think they just want us to see how that water was going. If I'm being honest, when it comes to tree planting, my heart's not really in it. Of course, I'm very happy for Sandrock, but I just... I'm more interested in working on my novel, you know? Hey there! What if you run out of water? Man, uh, being here really makes Sandrock lively again. I believe together we can make Sandrock the best city in the Free Cities, or top five at least. How did the That's little woods start? Oh. 
I actually wanted to check on this map because I was thinking about it. Maybe Zeke could answer that. <sighs> and who's your favorite builder? So we can Come see. On, you can tell me. Porsche right there along that coastline, and then Sandrock just yes. up. We have it's really cool to be that. able to see, like, you can even see potentially other areas that they might Who make games of you? in the future. Yeah, see, I most, pretty much everyone I know knows not to call me. And, you know, I just, I just don't answer. <laughs> what type Porsche? The church didn't want you to use the gun. But if you did, it didn't actually have any effect on friendships. So, in Sandrock, they don't want you to cut down trees. I know if Mian sees you, she'll run up and beg you not to. Is the catchy does it matter? I um I made the mistake of cutting down a cactus, which I was like, oh, it's not a tree. It is a tree. Um, <laughs> next to Burgess early on, and he came over and got really upset with me. Um I can't remember exactly what he said. I think he went on about not being my friend anymore. Uh just like general bad times. I remember they also gave you the warning about not stepping in the oasis either. Or like in the water. I also was wondering where that went. <laughs> um, I also don't know if that affects anything, but it could just all be for show. Maybe it's something they want to implement later. There we go. I usually just try to stick to the whole if you can kick it, if you walk up to it and it has kick, it's a tree, therefore do not chop it. <laughs> if it doesn't have kick, you can chop. Then I kept- yeah, like this one, kick. Uh, I kept putting them down at me and got mad when she caught me next because I kept doing it, so now I just make sure not to get caught, right? And I feel like that's also sort of thing, is like, you know, they figured people would do that. <laughs> It's an interesting thing, though, in this game. The whole, you know, be careful of the trees, be careful of the water. It makes it a little bit more challenging than your standard sim game usually has it. We've been going through so much of the hardwood recently, which, heh, first off, wait, where's my hand button? Hey, <laughs> um, but second off, um, we'll need it, I'm sure, so. <laughs> Listen, okay, if I didn't make the joke, someone else would have, and we all know it. native pin spray too. <laughs> Make me giggle a little inside because it sounds like a word for sorry. Oh, it really does it? I wouldn't have known that. Interesting. Oh my god, there's another spray. My layout's like the, uh, like the stream layout, like the overlays I make. Oh, hi there. There's a little friend in that tree. I feel a little bit bad about that. I think so. Um, I don't usually post them in particular anywhere. I do have a fan house, and if I make something new more often than not, I might put it in there just to show what I've done on the public page, not on the sub page. Um, but otherwise, I don't usually post them anywhere. I've had the idea in the back of my head for a couple months now that like maybe I could do something um, like, I can take commissions to make layouts for other streamers, but I'm really nervous that I'm going to make something that someone's not going to like. <laughs> so, they, they kind of work for me. I don't know if they'd work for anyone else. 
The first time you do it, and if you keep chopping down trees, cacti, you will find yourself losing favor with the locals and getting fined. I'm researching. Ooh. Love to pay for one. Oh, really? Okay, well then maybe I can look into it. Maybe we can look into it. Are you on uh, Discord? That's usually where I'm uh, most easily reachable for anything, so you're more than welcome to join if you haven't already. It's open to everyone. And uh, you can just like DM me on there in the future if you're interested. But yeah, thank you for asking though. <laughs> I love that. It means the world to me. Doing ready-made ones would be a good intermediate step. Yeah, because like the, the what you're seeing on screen right now is a mashup of so many different layers. And like I know how to put them together, but like I don't know if I can explain it to someone else if that makes sense, so. Having one where it's just like essentially one piece might actually work best. Maybe I'll look into it. Um, uh, okay, so hardwood planks, we're getting there. Um, cast iron pipes, those are being made. Bronze blade, I think, was this over here. I was selling my artwork before too, and I prefer to start with selling finished pieces rather than taking commissions. Commissions are where it gets hellish. Yeah, because then it's, you know, your art, but you're doing it for someone else, and it might not be up to their whatever they're looking for. I, I get it completely. Small chance to find a four-leaf clover when collecting herbs. Interesting. Um, sorry, I'm a little bit all over the place trying to keep track of what we're doing. Discord, I myself just started streaming again. Oh, thank you. I hope you've been enjoying streaming. What have you been, uh, what have you been doing? If you don't mind me asking, like games or art or. Lose a few points when caught, so basically to make sure they're asleep when you cut down trees, be extra careful. I was doing it late, but Mian likes to wander around. I actually felt a tiny bit guilty when she caught me. Yeah. See, I... I don't know, like, they told me off once, and I've never touched it again. I'm like, nope. <laughs> I feel guilty. Can't do it. Let's look like they're doing fine. Let's see what commissions we got. Uh, switchboard. Switchboard and canvas. Okay, so I need some more of those things. And for the switchboards, I need more copper wire and those rubber things. Should really be doing those more often. Um, copper wire. Okay, let's go down to the farm and try to buy some more stuff. Should enter my tree up getting sandstorms. Yeah, like it would like get worse almost. I mean, Cozy Girl, that's how I found you on YouTube. I was looking to see if I like the game myself. Oh, nice! Nice. Cozy Grove is so good. It's so chill. And, like, it almost lends itself into starting streaming as well. Because I don't know about you, but when I first started, I couldn't stream for really long periods of time. I get tired. Um, and Cozy Grove, you, you, there's only so much you can do. So it's, like, nice, kind of, like, shorter streams. Matilda, thank you for that. I really appreciate it. I need to advertise the fan house some more. It's so cozy, yeah. <laughs> it used to actually put me to sleep. It used to be my bedtime game. 
but since I've started recording it for YouTube, it's more, you know, mid-afternoon kind of wind-down game. Falling asleep while playing it before the music is so relaxing, yeah. One of my favorite soundtracks of any game, actually. Yeah, no, there's there's so much, and there's so much coming out, too. Okay, so we have two more being built, so I need six more here. There we go. I was on Splatoon last night, I'm pretty sure Nintendo was thrilled, oh god. <laughs> um... So, canvas. There we go. And the other quest was for... Oh, right, it was for the switchboard, so... It's just these that we need. Yeah, thank you so much for being here, Jellybean. Hope we see you next time. Uh, do I only need one? I need three. Oh right, the rubber. Heck. <laughs> I was like, why is this not working? Alright, well we'll have to wait a bit then. I think I've been a bit spoiled by um, Doraemon. I'm so used to being like, okay, I have no more stamina. I'm just gonna go fishing or bug hunting or whatever. And like, you can't do that in this one. I really wish I could remember which soundtrack I'm thinking of. But part of this soundtrack, and I've been thinking about it since uh, a couple days ago in in game, it sounds like a song from Final Fantasy VII, and I'm I'm really struggling to remember which one it is. There's just a certain little part of it. <laughs> I'll get it eventually. Not yet, not yet. I've had my eye What's on up? it though. Trudian Zeke's tree plot seems to be really growing. I have no idea how any of it works, but I always believed in them anyway. Maybe blind optimism really is more than it's cracked up to be, eh? Maybe. Catch you later! <laughs> Random, too soon. <laughs> too soon, I don't care if it's been over 20 years. trying to read the newspaper before and like I, I heard from the I was watching one of the developer streams of this game before it was released in early access and they were like oh you do well to read the newspaper because like you know it actually has some important information in it and I'm like cool it's really hard to read with controller it's very very sensitive <laughs> I tried it, but I found it quite glitchy. My evening streamer lady tried it and actually decided to wait a bit before getting into it more. So they say it's so cute, just weird controls and a little glitchy. Yeah, it's one of those ones maybe that I can kind of wait on and I'll, I'll get to enjoy it eventually. I don't mind waiting a bit usually. I guess we're gonna go to bed for the night. Um, we have no stamina, we can't really do much. And we'll wait for those things to finish overnight. Oh, 
immediately into cutscene. Oh, there you are. I think that's about everyone. Go ahead and take your place for the group photo. While we're all here, I just want to take a moment to thank everyone for being here at the Little Woods and for always being there for Sandrock. That's right. It's been a long road up to this point, but at the end of the day, there's one thing we can all agree on. This town is our home. I'm happy to announce that this small grove we've planted is only the first step. After this, City Hall will begin working to secure funding for a new project. The building of a road to Portia. Well, Portia. <laughs> With this road, we can shorten the distance between us and that city-state, driving down the cost of imported water. With a proper water source and our newfound ability to plant trees in the desert, it is my belief, no, my conviction, that Sandrock will be green again. Um, Madam Mayor, do you mind stepping into the frame? Um, oh, right. Of course. Everybody say trees! Trees! Now, where's the other mayor? The woman you <gasps> featured in the article? Ma'am, time for your close-up. What? Did oh. Mm, I need to slap some people around here. No. No. Mr. Ernest, do you mean me? I'm the minister here. Apologies. Apologies to be sure. Still getting used to how you all run things in Sandrock. I'm sure you're very busy as well, so let's just come with me and we'll find you a nice backdrop for your front pager. Thanks again to everyone for being here. As they say, see you in the funny papers. All right, folks. Show's over. Head on back to your homes. Silvercore, let's escort. Unsure? You're on the perimeter. Cap, you're with me. Pen, you stick with the minister and Poofy Pants guy. Roll out. Who's Poofy Pants guy? He didn't even look at the photo. I'm so con- wait, Pen just disappeared. I'm so confused. <laughs> mm-hmm. Say fuzzy pickle. Fuzzy pickle. Oh! Yeah. Also, that hey. was a earthbound uh -huh. reference. Careful. Logan. Yeah. <laughs> Justice, are you? He can take her. We don't want her. <laughs> That was cool, boss. That was cool. Oh my gosh, that was Logan. Oh, the humanity. They took Matilda. Won't someone go after him? Nah, we didn't send out a party for Trudy. Why would we send one out for Matilda? Just saying. <laughs> I'm afraid those two are long gone. Are you all right, Sheriff? Do you want me to help you up? We could come back later. I'm more than all right, buddy. I've got him right where I want him. You do? I've got it! Justice, while careening through the air, must have reached into his utility belt and whipped out a tracking device, attaching it to Logan's horse, which will lead us directly to his lair! Oh. Brilliant! Tracking what? What kind of budget do you think we have? <laughs> he took your tilde? <laughs> no. The substance stuck to that sinful scoundrel Steve was none other than Catnip. Oh my god, Cap. <laughs> it's Cap's time to shine. Captain? Ho! Now, all we have to do is. Dang! He's going pretty quick. Unsure. Let's ride. You two. Anybody who can fight. It's now or never. Follow that cat. Let's do it. Let's do it. You heard the man. Anyone willing to fight? Get whatever supplies you need from town and follow that cat. Ah, uh, do I got to? 
She'll be fine, right? I I assume I need medicine and stuff, so I'm gonna go back and grab that. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, right? As far as we know, no search party ever went out looking for Trudy. But suddenly everyone's dropping things for Matilda. I was waiting. I figured he would be involved somehow. I'm just glad it seems like they didn't burn down the trees. Because that is actually kind of cool if that is a proper new area. But my machine- I mean, <laughs> you know, definitely not going back to hand in my commissions and finish the machines or anything. Definitely wouldn't dream of doing that. <clears throat> Trudy deserves better. <laughs> Such a petty bitch in this game. <laughs> I love it though. Oh my goodness. God, other mayor. I wanted to throw hands. All right, there we go. Give me that. Um, uh, and this, and these, and these, and that. <laughs> And finally, these. Okay, sorry, what was the last thing we needed for that before we head out and see our potential future husbando? Right. Uh, okay, yes, that is perfect. Money is a hard call, but I think we all know what should be done here. Always pick money. <laughs> you guys are learning from random, aren't you? Uh... Okay, yeah. I think I can probably hand in these two at the same time, because I'm assuming... Yeah, he's all the way out by, uh... Wherever this layer is gonna be. Oh wait, no, I want to keep that. Oh, there we go. Okay, and medicine. I did I did actually come here for that. I was actually kind of thinking about it. There we go. I am so excited. I'm so excited we finally get to see him. He could have come and scooped me up, I'm just saying. Putting that out there. Hi, Heidi. Here you go. Hello. So long, partner. There you go. Oh, <laughs> Captain. I think you're meant to be out looking, but let's not worry about that. How do you feel about this, Trudy? Have you been to Shanash Candy yet? It's one of the best sites around Sandrock. Just uh, be careful near the edge. That first step can be a real doozy. She's like, I don't care. You later. Take her. <laughs> Oh, captain. Are there multiple captains? There's no way you made it there. I'm more than willing to be the damsel. <laughs> because I didn't think people would want her because they wanted to delay the inevitable keep up interest. I think... See, they haven't confirmed or denied it yet. That's the thing, right? They haven't said one way or another. They've just kind of been like, you know, putting winky faces and stuff when people ask, so... I think it will happen. I think it's just gonna be he's like late game, you know? Have to go through his whole story first. Oh, absolutely, yeah. No, absolutely. I think they know exactly what they're doing. <laughs> I'm so excited we get to see him. <laughs> Finally, today is the day. <laughs> and before we find out, Matilda's been working with Lo- <gasps> Wait, no. I don't like that, actually. It's an idea, but I don't like it. I need a horse. I should have rented a horse for this. Only sp I was wondering what you mean by span. <laughs> Only spawns on Tuesdays. 
it's a Thursday in game random. <laughs> Speaking of thirst, how's the restaurant slash pub keeper in this game doing? Owen or Gwen? I think it's her name. I really like Owen. I'm making cactus, or I'm, I'm growing cactus right now because I found out he likes it. <laughs> he, he is the other option. Hopefully you get him, Brandon. Owen? Yeah, no, Owen's cute. God, this is a long trip out here. Interesting to see all this stuff, though. Ooh! What's this? I don't know what it is, but I'm gonna bring it with me. Oh, was it Grace, not Gwen? You know what? You're absolutely right. I think I'm thinking of a different sim game. This is interesting. Where's my future husband? Bring him out. Did they put a sign up? <laughs> oh. All right. Guess we'll see. If you're not in the city limits, you can cut down trees without penalty. Oh, interesting. So you can go all the way out. We have lost Captain, uh, but the catnip dropped off in this spot, so that means Logan and Matilda are inside. This will be high on danger. I drew up a plan before for something specifically like this, but I don't have time to dig it up, so here's plan B. We go in, we stick close, I'll cover you, let's move. I like it. Good plan. I'm so excited. <laughs> this feels like something's actually happening. Do you, by the way, I can't give you. I was trying to give him the commission. It's pretty loud in here. Um, bear with, bear with. Sometimes the audio in this game is not properly leveled. Oh, wait, maybe that's why. Why did it bump up? It was always at 30. I think that helped out a bit. Let me know. Okay. Why do I feel like I've done this before? Why does this seem so familiar? Maybe I'm thinking of Portia. Oh, hi. Lee from Portia. You know what? I... I wasn't fond of him, but I also saw that he had... Like, I don't know, he just didn't feel as slimy as Matilda. Weirdly enough. Very, like, fruitcakey, mind you. But not as, like, slimy. I still think she has other stuff going on, you know? Well then. I'm sure, please don't. He was just trying to shove me off. Okay, that was a thing. Um, I feel like I saw a treasure chest. Oh. Uh, this doesn't seem very fair. I have to go around? Oh, okay, never mind. You guys good down there? No? There's actually something down here with you? Okay. There we go. That guy was a bit obnoxious. I don't blame y'all for not being able to deal with it. 
New furniture style. Thank you. But yeah, no, I... It's been a while since I've played or watched or experienced a media where I dislike a character as much as I've been kind of disliking Matilda, I have to admit. Ow. A scorpion should not be that big. Ah, <laughs> oh, heck. Those alphas are annoying. Oh, they have a creepy giggle to them, though. That's kind of fun. She is sus. Oh. Rude. Well, at least we're higher level so far than these things. We're level 30, 31, I think. Hi, could you stop jumping around, sweetheart? Where's Justice? I thought I had backup, I just have unsure. Do you have a gun? I do. I realized I forgot bullets for it. So unless I find some, it's a little useless, unfortunately. And I saw them too before. I, they were in the same thing as my medicine and I completely forgot. There we go. Getting some interesting stuff in here. They're annoying with too wide a range. Yeah, they uh they do quite a bit. Is that... Okay, that was just justice. Let's see, do I have... Oh, I have six bullets. Oh, he's dealing with it. little set up in here. Look at this chair. It has light bulbs on it for some reason. Oh, jeez. Just destroyed it. Oops. So... I have heard Logan's voice from the trailer, but I know, Brandon, you were saying you didn't want to, uh, hear him other than in-game, which is valid, too. Um, I have a feeling we might be hearing him here. This is very sus. A lot of friends in here. <laughs> it, I don't think it is. If he, if it was, then there would memorized. be no question. Then that's who I need to marry, and it's like done. You know, zero question. <laughs> there we go. Get rid of the small ones. And like, technically, I, I guess I don't really need to go through here and defeat all these guys. But I figure the experience, the items, um, 
No time is ticking forward while we're in here, which is amazing. It's all worth it. <laughs> Masterpiece fishing contest. Reason to stay up here. <laughs> Could you not? Don't worry, don't worry. I think we still have a ways to go, I'm guessing. I have no idea, of course, but. Just a feeling. <laughs> oh, <right. laughs> I just healed. God, I just healed. <laughs> Did y'all hear that? <gasps> no. We have ways of making you talk. That wasn't him, was it? Yeah, we have ways. Uh, Please, I don't know anything. Why was she echoey, but the others weren't? <laughs> Liar! Tell oh. us where the water is. Now it's echoey. Yeah, tell us where the water is or else. Water? You want to steal our water next? Logan, you don't have to do this. Andy, the instrument. Who's Andy? Yes, sir. <laughs> no, not that. Anything but that, please. Someone help me. Oh, they're just going to play her a nice song. Do it. Do it. No. Ah! Dang. What are they doing to pull Matilda? We gotta hurry. Someone pulled out a banjo. Let's, Let's do this. Tell us what you know, Minister. Oh, <laughs> moment of truth. Reach for the sky, banditos. The jig is up. Just. <laughs> <laughs> this don't have to get messy, Logan. Listen, it's not too late to turn yourself in. We can go easy on you. Just hand over the feather. Nice and slow. You sure you got enough folks to bring me in? Yeah, I mean, yeah, pretty sure. Let's find out. <gasps> I don't want to fight. Oh, he's like level question mark. He's going to destroy us. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I fought my ex-husband before. If it makes you feel better, we had a little, you know. It, it, ow. Ooh, it happened. I'm sorry, but the whole tickling thing, though, that is very much like Lego City humor, and I love it. Yeah, we're like doing next to no damage. Crystal only marries villains. Okay, the last time it was an accident, though, to be fair. I had no idea he was a bad guy. Oh god. <laughs> this is going very poorly. If you could hit Matilda, she's tied up. Oh! Yeah, she does. She's kind of just blinking. There's this Andy kid too. I'm curious. I was wondering who they were. We saw them in the opening screen, so. I really, really would love it. I don't even want. He doesn't even need to be redeemed. I just want to see him, you know? I just want to see him. I wonder if I'm actually meant to beat him, or is this one of those fights you're meant to lose and I'm just being very stubborn? Because I've had that happen before, too. 
<laughs> yeah, where is Haru? There was a female voice there, I feel like? Maybe there wasn't. Maybe it was just Andy, but... There we go. I figured. <gasps> Get out, Pan! We don't like you! Oh wait! Press A to say- <gasps> Screw her! Screw her! <laughs> now! Gosh darn it. There's no way I was gonna oh. press A. There's no heckin' way. They didn't even- Oh, it was a fake choice! That awful brute tide, your restraints were such unamicable stringency. Double knots, really? What? Animal. Oh. Yes. Oh, thank the lot you all showed up right in the nick of time. My wrists are a bit sore. But other than that, I'm fine. Sorry you got kidnapped, ma'am. I hope you won't let this reflect poorly on the reputation of the Civil Corps. We try really hard, you know. Ah, uh, dang it. We were so close this time. Let's just get the minister back in time. She's been through enough for today. I, I'm all right. Just a bit busy. Whew. How how did you find me anyway? <laughs> Minister, I thought you never asked. Oh. Alright. Leave me here, it's cool. It's fine, I'm just gonna go find my husbando. <sighs> he ran away. Oh. That looks kind of important. So... Let's go see what this is. Oh! First, is that a broken texture? Maybe that's just a broken texture? <laughs> I can't tell. But second off... Where did that go in my inventory? Uh... Is it not an actual item I get to keep? I wanted that. I don't, with how weird that is, I almost feel like it's a broken texture, to be honest. But... Okay, how does one get out of here? Oh, that's the way we came. Is this a faster route? Or is this a route at all? Oh, this is where Matilda. Oh, I can chop this? How nice. Here we go. Got another of the same masterpiece. It's like they're doing a counterfeiting operation. Oh, it looks like I can climb up there. Okay, more main story, so I'm not sure if that's the end of the main story for now. Oh, yeah, see, I was gonna ask if there was any more, like, if it tells you when you're done. Um, but I also heard some people say that they were getting stuck. Like, they thought there was a bug, so maybe this is where the bug happened, or maybe that is the end of it? Oh, is there something coming up? Okay. I like how they all just left me here. That was nice of them. After seeing Matilda, the cave is now peaceful as before. You can now explore at your leisure. Did you get the sword affection? Like, is that an actual item? And anyone else who's played this as well, by the way. 
because uh, it looked like it might be a sword you got, because I remember you get one from Audit, or yeah, I guess it is Audit, <laughs> with Portia. Okay, okay, no worries, no worries. Twitch being wonky. At least we got to hear Logan. Hello? Plunger right there. I'm just gonna take a little look see around here because I kind of... Also, I noticed the time is still paused, so... I don't really mind taking a little look around. A lot of this kind of, it feels like this is meant to be something we explore a bit more thoroughly. Only had the one. Hmm. Can't chop that tree. <laughs> Still kind of cool to look around and see though. was fun. Oh, this is taking a while longer than normal. So then the captain dashed off real quick and whoa. We came as fast as we could. Matilda, are you all right? Um, where is Logan? He got away. He was in a frickin' cave! How do you dolts manage to bungle this one? Inconceivable! I guess as long as the minister is okay. No refunds on the pitchforks, folks! Now, now, everyone. Let's all just calm down. Enough! <clears throat> I've had it! I demand that Logan be brought to justice! Yeah! That's right! To me? It's clear that our oh, current regiment right. is simply not I'll up to you. the task! Oh, I think Justice was just having some weird background lines there. Miguel, it's it's alright, I'm fine. The civil corps and the builder found me. Pen! Where was the protector of Sandrock at the ceremony? Was he not supposed to be watching over you and the photographer? Well, you see, Pastor, what happened is they have this new dish at the Blue Moon, and... Silence! Resting on the laurels of our mayor's experiment, we can't let this bandit ruin our future! Force us to live in fear! It was the minister today, but it could be any one of us tomorrow! I've said it privately, now I'll say it here in front of everyone. Our city needs aid. Someone who specializes in tracking down scum like Logan and his gang of miscreants to put an end to this once and for all! <laughs> I'm so sorry. Can we take a moment to appreciate the fact that my character wants none of what Miguel's up to? We're not- we're looking at the camera and we have our backs to him. <laughs> Trudy, you no doubt are aware of what I am alluding to. Um... Yes, uh, there was that specialist you wanted me to hire. We've had specialists in town before. I don't... I, they weren't... It wasn't a good time. Pastor, I appreciate your concern for my safety and that of the rest of us, but your specialist is not within our means. We have to trust in our core and push forward with the development of Sandrock with the road to Portia. 
Minister, with all due respect, there is no price too great to pay for lives. I'm tired of treating Logan like some petty criminal when he should be regarded as public enemy number one. I say we focus all our efforts on removing Logan. Then, and only then, can we safely hope to move forward. What do you say, Sandrock? I... Uh, well, if that's what everyone wants, uh, maybe we don't have a choice. There's always a choice, Mayor. No matter how incensed y'all are, the best laid plans are done so by cooler heads. For now, all y'all head on back to your homesteads. Don't y'all worry about me, I'm fine now. Thank you, Builder and our brave men of justice for saving me. Trudy, Civil Corps, and Pan, stick around, please. I have a lot of feelings about all this. <laughs> yeah, no, the voice actor is doing a fantastic job. I want a sense of Logan. How is he not a public enemy? They're doing... Like, again, they seem very, very... They want to, like, pin everything on him. And, yeah, he may have done some stuff, but I'm just really curious. I don't know. I want y'all looking around in town. Start asking questions. Logan was asking me about water. It's as if he believes someone's hiding it somewhere. Huh? You don't actually believe that, knucklehead, do you? How could someone be hiding a non-negligible amount of water? The amount of space required to do so would be extremely noticeable. Not to mention the maintenance required to keep it potable. Great deduction. That's deputy-level behavior right there, Pop. That's what you said last time someone brought this up. Ah, well, uh, deputy level memory. Just keep polishing the mother skills. Uh, back to the matter at hand. Why would you place any merit in the ravings of a lunatic? I want to be 100% certain that Logan is off his rocker. He seems so sure of himself. We can't have any doubts in our mind moving forward, understand? All right, so laying this down right now, chat. Where is someone in town going to be keeping a huge amount of water? They would need a lot of space. I'm eyeballing that church right away. <laughs> I am eyeballing the church and the fact that he kidnapped Matilda in particular. He knows. I'm wondering, because again, this might all go back to his dad. His dad, like, was infected with something, right? I, and again, this has been a couple months ago now that I, I heard this story. I need to catch up with it again. But the whole idea was Logan's dad went somewhere he shouldn't have gone, got infected with something, and the church quarantined him. Somewhere. That was the whole idea. And then he apparently died in a blast that Logan made to get him out. And I'm thinking that either he got into something the church didn't want him to get into, or he got into some sort of water supply that the church has, or like something there. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah, he's, I don't think Miguel's meant to be in this cutscene. <laughs> he's a little, uh, out of place. It's, it's very sus, the entire thing. Also, Alien, I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's really frustrating. All right. Reckon there might still be a few rocks we ain't turned over yet. That sound all right to you, Maya? Um, yes, I suppose so nobody's hiding water mm. tells us the imposter lets a voter out anyway uh justice before I you leave so hello there you go catch you later i don't know i don't know yeah I'll the water smack thing that though. fool in half <sighs> gosh darn it pen hey the I'm all right, Crystal. Thanks we for checking in. Wrists are still a bit stiff, this. Um, but I'll recover. Perhaps this time I start spending a bit less time in the spotlight. To be leading the charge against bandits at my age, I trust Trudy, Miguel, and people like you to take up the reins and lead us towards the light that surely awaits us at the end of this long, dark tunnel. Take her easy. Oh, I have many feelings. Him. Um. Well, it might not be the best decision, but it's what we're doing. We're hiring a specialist. Hopefully, if nothing else, this will keep folks from trying more extreme methods and who knows, maybe he'll 
he will be uh, the one to track Logan down and his gang. He... Who's he to... Mm, I, have, I have ideas, and I'm not going to say it because I'm going to jinx it. But I, all I'm saying is that the last time we Take hired specialists easy. in Porsche, they were all sus. <laughs> I'm just eating those uh, Dubos peppers the day before. Oh, oh, they're again aftershock. Keep it together, panel pal. Keep it together. <laughs> hey there. Forgot about them. Flying pigs return. I I guess we'll have to see. Back in Bardart, my favorite season was autumn. Pleasantly cool breeze, golden leaves, and my birthday is on the sixth. Take her easy. Okay. That was really big. That was really big. I'm so excited. <laughs> if that's really the end of what the story has so far, I am... It's even worse than last time. I am so invested. And I know we're not gonna get anything for a while. <laughs> Save the character, but not everyone in town is really weird. I... To be honest, like with Cooper and stuff, I don't like Cooper very much, but I do think he has just been completely brainwashed by the church. That's my opinion. I don't think he's in on anything. Speaking of Cooper, actually. <laughs> Should I try cutting them down? Wherever they are. Just for science. Howdy! Finally, we're getting a bounty hunter. See, Crystal? Whoever yells the loudest gets what they want. That's how it should be. If you weren't heard, you didn't want it enough. So long, partner. Okay, I really dislike this, man. Do I don't want to chop trees too close to them, though, right? Or did you say it wouldn't really matter? I guess I can kind of come up here and get away from everyone. Cooper and Miguel, they're both on the list. <laughs> But yeah, if, if this is where this story is ending, this is infinitely worse than the last time. Last time they gave us just a little bit of info about Logan and his dad. Alright, let's see. I feel guilty. Well, nothing happened. I didn't get any, like, you know, oh, you done messed up. So I think it's probably fine. These are always fine. Okay, so when we get back, uh, yeah, I gotta go to the research center. Actually, wait, no, no, wait. Uh, I was actually, I already have something. Um, I'm making a gem machine of some sort, I think it was called. And it said it would take three days, so it might be done by tomorrow or the next day. We handed in Justice Commission just now as well, yeah. Um, I think the only thing we have ongoing is actually the Katori stuff. So we're waiting for construction. Yeah, I figured it might be interesting to see what it's all about. And, uh, the exhibition stand. And, uh, rooftop display. <laughs> Burgers come sprinting through the dudes. Did you just cut down a tree? <laughs> Why can I hear that? <laughs> Some of the voice actors in this I'm not entirely fond of. I'm just like, you know, okay. All right. I see what they're going for. But some of them are fantastic. <laughs> so yeah, not only have we now made eye contact with uh, Logan, we also had like a little moment there. Do you guys see that? Had a, we had a, I, I'm gonna use that as like a screenshot if I can for this episode. <laughs> we had a moment. <laughs> Maybe the, see that's what I was starting to get scared of actually. When uh, we were first reading into all this, it's like what if they're all just in on it? <laughs> there we go, so there's the thing. I need two more cast iron pipes. Uh, no, wait, apparently I have enough. Uh, and the bronze blade. 
Do I make that here? I do. See, now we can thirst over this man since we had a moment. <laughs> I love it. There we go. What's up, Isabel? Wasn't it Miguel that made the decision to lock up? See, I need to go back and like re remind myself, reread that. Um. Oh, we're waiting for construction bows here. Um. Because you might be right. You might be right. Um, I just, it was like, there's so many different stories, so many different, like, people involved with it. I don't really know anymore. Okay, uh, where's our... I think this can hold the collectibles. Um, monster drops. And I was also just keeping medicine in there. Um, oh, I'm out of space for clothing. Oh, I also have creature drops and monster drops. That's my bad. Whoopsies. <laughs> okay, well, it's better than it was, at least. It's incredibly rude, and he's a vatch. I'm wondering who would actually... Yeah, right? I'm not really one to yuck. Like I said the other day, I'm not going to yuck someone else's yum. But it's so strange to me that he is a bachelor. Um, so if you guys are new to Sandrock, anyone with the hearts are available for dating and marriage. Although that isn't really, as you can see above, like, uh, Key's face here, character content available very low. They, like, let you know that there isn't a lot for them yet. Um, so you can, like, you know, work up their hearts and everything, but you're not gonna get a lot out of it um but yeah where is he there he is miguel is actually available miguel trained in my Day's minister program together with matilda then followed her to sandrock he's very clever and often puts forward many constructive suggestions to the church and the management of sandrock i've never actually read through these actually I said actually twice, ignore that. I love that X has his own thing. <laughs> X is Fang's pet raven. He often translates Fang's thoughts and emotions into vocal words. He can be a bit crass, though. But yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Actually, wait a minute. I'm just gonna ignore that. I just noticed. <gasps> I didn't know it kept track in here. Oh, wait. <gasps> oh, this is. I have not seen this yet. And it even tells you what their benefits are for being friends with them. This is so cool. I'm so sorry. I'm I'm literally I've put into I've put 50 hours into this game and I had no idea. <laughs> I had not looked in there. From us Miguel or Burgess, but they would let you cut down a tree once in a while and look the other way. <laughs> Taylor's mind just explode. Okay, cool. See, I figured there was the stuff on the wiki, but I didn't know where they were getting it from. Today I learned. Did I already take commissions for today? I'll work on that and oh, I need bloodstones. But yeah, maybe in a bit here when we're done with this day. Um, I'm hoping the construction stuff for Katori finishes tomorrow. I'm not gonna hold my breath on that. Maybe it'll just stay like that until the next update. Um, but I'll pause and I'll take a look 
I'll Google and see if anyone knows officially where the end of the content is, just that I'm not... Like, part of me wants to keep playing, I'd love this game to pieces, but I also really want to stick to main story stuff, at least for now. Just because we can't really romance anyone yet, there's no point to, in my opinion. Um, they're not fully developed yet, so I don't really want to see them before they're ready, if that makes sense. <laughs> not to mention Logan. Um, and I figured we'd be better off doing it that way. But if there's more content, then great, I need to know more. I also want to go take a look around the church again, because wasn't there like a weird building we were looking at? I think it may have actually been Matilda's place, but... I think the ore refinery was the thing I'm making, actually. Yeah, is that- can I get bloodstones through it? Uh, it's, it's the thing we're getting from, uh, research. Actually. Uh... Okay, a little bit more. Well, there's a bit after this, but I wouldn't say it's main story related, so I'm really confused. I can write it in the Discord that content is available up until a soft lock after which a quest mission called the Bronco. Yeah, that name does ring a bell. Um, I had heard something about a glitch before that one. I think that's the name of the quest I was reading about on Reddit. I, I really just liked how um, with the previous content, it was like, okay, you've hit the end. There's no more. You can keep playing, but that's it. So I was hoping they would do that again. buy coarse leather. It'd be really nice if I could just be lazy and not go all the way out to grab some of that. can buy basic leather, but not coarse. Hey, Sen, welcome back. Eat my lunch, to my dishes. I feel better and just want to say hi again. I'm glad to hear it. I'm glad you got your nap in. And some lunch. more clay. Let's go mining very, very, very quickly here. I'm going to save beating up stuff for tomorrow morning. I think that may be Fang related that mission. I'm going to have to Google it. Oh, yeah. We haven't really seen much of him in this update. Enough. Got 
podcast. I'm excited. Like, imagine, right? I'm, I'm this is so far fetched and it will never actually happen. But imagine the specialist they hire because they can't afford someone more reputable turns out to be <laughs> my ex from Portia. <laughs> Cause he he did he did leave. And you know, he might be trying to look for work else. I don't know. I don't know, I'm I'm excited. <laughs> It would be amazing. I- you would never hear the end of it. No one would ever hear the end of it. There's apparently a bug that it won't allow the story to progress past the Buck and Bronco mission. Oh, so it's actually a bug. Okay. Thank you for so much for checking on that, too. Oh, no, absolutely. And that's very fair, though. I appreciate you coming by to the streams when you can as well, but... Oh no, she's already in there. Um, yeah, the the sand or the sandrock. Sorry, the uh, cozy grove series. I'm on what episode 58, 59, 60 maybe. So you have a ways to watch. I hope you're enjoying it. It was very segmented recording for like the first couple months. Um. Okay, so we got these. Just need a little bit more leather. I know it's really late, but I'm honestly not too fast. <laughs> we'll uh we'll figure it out. Still walking back? That's really funny. So I realized something. I have the gun. And... Oh, is the barrel gone? I was gonna see if I could explode the barrel from afar so I don't feel so guilty about this, but I really do need... More stuff for this. <laughs> so sorry! Is that guy flexing? Uh, if it was flexing, I'm guessing it's probably pen. The next thing that'll trigger for you is the last bit before this bug shows up then. Okay. Cool. I feel so bad, they're making sad popper noises. I'm sorry, cuties. <sighs> I hate this. Also, I'm looking forward to cute Lucy pictures. <laughs> This might actually not be running. Oh no. Or unless they changed it. I remember there being like a time where I tried to use it. It's like, no, it's too late. Because I discovered you and your channel, your video just randomly appeared. I'm so glad. I am so, so glad. I've been really enjoying uh, Cozy Grove. And the fact that I can share it and like introduce it to people who might not have otherwise seen it is the best thing. There we go. Okay, that'll be done for tomorrow.
Okay, so we're running low a bit on steel, but otherwise... We're actually doing pretty good. Oh, I was a little bit too old for it, yeah. I know it's on other platforms as well, but PC is pretty good. Fireside added to reminders, okay. Mission abound, mission update. Um, Crusher Sugar has finally finished the infrastructure upgrade for the game center. Go and install the new machine. Uh, and then... Eh. All the way down. Uh... Okay, so these ones too. Does it wear and hoping to get an update to fix it later this week and then again it could have been the update they did today. That's what I was wondering if maybe it was. Here's Satin Rocker, the 19th day of spring is the day of the bright sun. Don't forget that if you want to join the celebration festival, you need to hand in your gift at Say Hall. <gasps> Ooh, I'd like to find what the best item to give is. <laughs> On the festival itself, we will be dropping these gifts out of the airship for all to enjoy. I really enjoyed this one from uh, Portia. Citizens of Sandrock, after careful consideration of the situation and taking to mind the will of the people, City Hall has found it appropriate to put funding towards the hiring of a specialist to assist in tracking down Logan and his historious bandit gang that has plagued the city all this time. We're having a fireside to discuss recent events with Matilda's kidnapping, the specialist being hired and other future plans. If you have questions or concerns, please join us tomorrow at 6. Thank you for understanding. From Yan. Crystal, all right, newbie. We got an important commission come up. I thought I'd use this opportunity to create a little healthy competition between our builders. City Hall has told me that we're going to need two new yak mill stations. Oh, yay. Uh, at the Little Woods and at the Yafala outfit. This is prime real estate for traveling. So you know there's a juicy bonus in there, and whoever builds it first will get a reward too. Anyway, I'm leaving this one open for anyone to take. Uh, whoever builds it first gets the rewards. Go, go, go. P.S. If you don't build it, I'll take it as a direct insubordination. So chop, chop, builders. <laughs> Do you have a lot of copper? I have a decent amount, I feel like. And here is the ore refinery. Oh, wait, I need my tanned leather back, please. Wait, why does that only say four out of- Did I use it somewhere? How do I always manage this? Oh, no, wait, here we go. My bad, I didn't pick them up. Love cover pots. They're easy to make. Nobody dislikes them. Ooh, okay, there we go. I like that idea. Okay, first things first. Go hand in these. Mira, Burgess, and Zeke like them too. See, that's what I always like to know. It's like, what are the really easy gifts to give people? It's not in this hotfix from what I read. Hopefully I do another one later on this week. Yeah. Uh... I can't. Are you? Oh, hi. Don't mind if I do. I haven't been in here, apparently. <clears throat> Don't mind me. I definitely wasn't destroying something of yours. Howdy. Hey, see you around. Oh, he's now my associate. Yay. Hello. Hey, I never told him my birthday was, did I? It's the second of spring. Oh, we just missed it. After ringing in the new year, I'd like to keep the party going for another 24 hours. It's a good time to stop in at the saloon, I'll say that much. All right, catch you next time. He's a cutie. <laughs> I really actually quite like him. Hello. Good timing. Hello. Chat with him again, we go back. Was there more? So long, partner. Howdy. Housing with Logan keeps escalating. I know 
I think he feels the noose tightening around his neck. Mark my words. Sorry, and now uh, he's going to try something desperate soon. Take her easy. Wait, let me talk to my future man again, potentially. Potentially. Hi. Howdy. Oh, like the little icon? Yeah, Logan got away again, but this time we really made him sweat. Now he knows that we aren't always going to play right into his hand, so he'll be shook the next time he tries anything. Uh, just a little something I picked up playing cards at the saloon all these years. Hey, there see we go. Around. Thank you for that. I didn't notice. I was just excited for the birthday. Uh, so prepare a gift. So we'll do the copper pots here. Go out after dark. And then this is the... Yak mill stations. Okay. So let's go put these down first. So much stuff going on. <laughs> Oh, hey, yeah. Wait, they did actually do a full add on here. Oh, that is a lot bigger than when it was on my table. Let's go see. Oh, wow. This is fancy. This is fancy adventure machine. Space pilfers. <laughs> Here's the boxing game. Okay, and then also the museum too, right? Oh, it went up there, I think. <laughs> Is it BB? OG, welcome on in. Thank you so much for the raid. How was your stream today? What were y'all up to? Welcome on in, friends. Oh, wow, it's actually double floor now. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> you guys are coming in at a fun time. We just finished quite a big commission in this game uh, that expanded some of the existing areas, and I'm seeing it for the first time. So I hope you all had an amazing stream, though. How was Genshin? It's a game I really want to get into, but I still haven't. <laughs> there we go. Cool! This game is called My Time at Sandrock. It's uh, currently in early access, so this is just one of many updates that's come out. And um, it's kind of like a, a sim, like a farming sim-esque game, except instead of being a focus on farming, you are a builder, so you take commissions, you craft items. Was Katori inside or is she outside? Uh, I think she's outside. Not strong enough. Oh, I see. So you might have to do some grinding or, or get some better gear, maybe. Got it memorized. But yeah, thank you so much once again for the raid. I really do appreciate that. If you guys would like to drop a follow, you can do so using that link up above in chat. And also, if you need to rest and chill after your stream, I totally get it. They're amazing! You're really efficient, you know that? Thanks for all your hard work, partner. Now it's my turn to get the tourists to come. Watch me. All right. Cool. So there's that done. Um, next up is we had two different... Two different things, right? This is the two different stops, I think. I like the look of this game. It's a lot of fun. It's on Steam if you're interested. Um, it has a lot of fun uh, characters. The story is still being developed, but it's really, really good so far. Um, just cute graphics, fun gameplay. It's overall very fun. Okay. 
Okay, so we got some new items here that I'm probably gonna have to put away. Um, I guess it's probably going in with food. And, um, <laughs> I keep getting things like these and I don't really know where to put them. Okay, so the gift for Trudy, and then how do I make the Yakmel stops? Let's see. Yakmel station. Uh, these actually seem pretty straightforward. Bronze sticks times four. Actually, wait, I'll need more than that, won't I? Hardwood planks. Um, and then rubber shells. I think those are... from our rubber scrap here. Um, how about I go and hit some of that, because I haven't really done that in a while. Also, Trudy's gift. Um... Somewhere in here. There it is. I don't know if one is enough. I guess we'll see. Let's go hand it in just to get it off of our uh, off of our screen. Also, by the way, for anyone joining us, question of the day for our Pokemon fans in here: Scarlet and Violet are coming up very quickly. We apparently get a new trailer tomorrow morning. Um, what? Returning features from older games, would you like to see come back? Hey there! Um, do I gift it? Yep, there we go! Uh, Z became your associate, Rocky became your associate, Crystal became your associate. This is an important holiday for us. All over the free cities, people celebrate the day of the bright sun to show how we can move forward. Even though our forebearers made such mistakes. Pen, could you not? Catch there we go, later. that was a really good suggestion, thank you. Okay, and I'm gonna pick up that quest on the way here. Actually, wait, this might be faster. Slow saving times, I missed that about Gen 4. <laughs> Oh god, I really do not miss it. Saving a lot of data, please wait. <laughs> Hi Burgess! Maybe I actually have to go out after dark for this one. <laughs> Nothing triggered. <laughs> Let's go and shield. So the only things I really want to see are open world waters and overworld visible shinies. Yes! <laughs> overworld visible shiny is like the most important thing to me. Absolutely agreed. Does missing no count? Would you call missing no a feature? I actually might, Loki. <laughs> He's a feature, not a bug. I just got a notification from Twitch saying that hosting will be going away no October 3rd? What? Really? Host mode. Uh, what's host mode? Oh, <laughs> thank you for the host, by the way. Pokemon following you? Yeah, that is really cute. Like, 
like to be honest i know they've been kind of whittling back hosting as it is i remember it used to like you know pop up the same as a raid but now it has to be over a certain number i think or like there's a weird reasoning to it automatically hosting when you bring a raid to another stream maybe weird now that I think about it. How many bosses they bring up? <laughs> I keep getting rid of them, but they keep bringing them back. Captain, let's go the way eat. EV followed you, but also how it would hang out on your shoulder and or hat. If it was incorporated for smaller mods following you, I'd love that. I really just enjoyed them following you in general. I thought that was great. Uh, oh, I can harvest. No, oh, wrong button. So I was doing these because I heard that Owen likes them. So, you know, just, just, just in case. <laughs> Need two more rubber shells. Here we go. Um Let's see, I feel like there's probably a better way to do this, but... Um, so I have no outstanding quest. This didn't seem to want to trigger, but it says go out after dark, so maybe I do actually have to be there after dark. Um... I'm wondering if I can get these done very quickly. I'd, I'd love to uh, actually finish them both. <laughs> oh, I thought you might have something. Um, oh, wait, maybe Rocky's place might have some. But yeah, Overworld Shinies for me, I, I think it's so much more fun when you either hear the sparkle animation, or you see it, or you see a Pokemon of a different color, it's more entertaining for me when it's out in the open world. Um, and then, uh, I just want a really good shiny hunting method. Oh, okay, I thought they might have. But they don't. I can't make them or anything, right? Is it purely just from recycling? Yep. 
Oh, here we go. I figured we could make them somewhere else. Uh, going away October 3rd, 2022. After this date, the host chat command and the host channel stream manager quick action will no longer be available. In addition, auto host will be changed to suggested channels in your channel settings. So just straight up, the only way you can go into someone else's stream with your audience is via raid then. I know there was always some confusion over the difference. Um, and if you auto host, it'll just be suggested channels. That's so strange to me, but you know, whatever, it's all good. Okay, did I put away the cactus? I did. There we go. Yeah, so no more hosting, just raids. I guess I could have seen that one coming. I usually try to raid out anyway, but auto host was nice for when I was offline and I wanted to help support people. Although, mind you, I, don't, I have no idea how much it actually helped, you know? Hey there. Ah, uh, where'd you get this? This is some top shelf stuff. You sure aren't you gonna- So you sure you aren't gonna use it? Well, thanks. Can't All wait right, to try catch it. you next time. Cool, there we go. Those things I need to reorganize in my filing box, but I just keep adding stuff on top. That's a mood. go try to trigger this thing again. I heard hosting helped boost streams into more recommended lists. Nope. Whatever it is doesn't want to trigger. Yeah, it, it, it's a bit weird. It's a bit weird. That should be enough to finish one of the stops. Oh, I need more bronze sticks. Those are being worked on. I need another hardwood plank as well. Uh, we might have to wait on that because I think the planks are in there. Okay, well, how about this? Let's go put the first one down. And then maybe by the time we're back, we'll be able to be closer to the second one. So it's at somewhere around uh, on the tree farm, I think, right? Yeah, and then we're going to see if we can't trigger that quest. This is much further out than I thought it'd be. Oh, 
hope there is. <laughs> like, maybe eventually there'll be a ruin or like there's a sand fishing spot, but otherwise this is such a strange place to come out to. <laughs> oh well, it's it's there now. <laughs> Sunash Cliff. Okay. Cool, though. And then the next one is all the way out where Logan was. I feel like the driver of that thing does the same animation when he picks you up and drops you off. It's just reversed each time. It's a little funny. Okay, um... Let's see. So just hardwood planks, rubber shells. And one more time for this weird quest out here that doesn't seem to want to trigger. It almost reminds me of one of the old LC ones that we had. Oh! It is an LC one. Logan, what are you thinking? I just can't believe you did that. Ah! Oh, I didn't see you there. I must have been so worked up. Didn't notice nothing. What, uh, what are you doing here? Ahem, I, I ain't doing nothing. Just came out to look at the stars is all. Uh, I heard you say Logan. Yeah, I can't believe he'd betray us like that. I hate him. I mean, I don't know. I ain't like hating him really. I guess I'm just so dang mad. I just can't make no heads or tails of it. Why'd he take Matilda? What the heck do you want? Why can't you just talk about it? Where's he now, huh? I want to just go and ask him. I'm just feeling stuck is all. Still want to support him? I ain't giving up yet, or else I wouldn't be this angry, you know? When I was little, I remember I tried to climb this tree. He was just standing there laughing at me. But then he told me to slow down and I wouldn't get hurt. And then, when I was six, I got attacked by a monster, and he saved me. We grew up together for ten years. I looked up to him, you know? Like, how can I describe how I'm feeling now? It's like my heart is hurting or something. Like, it's like, I got it. Like, you and me, Ant, right? You've known each other real long. What if Burgess came along one day and he's saying, me Ant's been cutting down all the trees and he sent her to tree jail. <laughs> Whole town's now hating her. Would you still trust her? Tree, <laughs> tree jail. Ah, uh, I mean, she wouldn't do it, but. Right? That's what I'm saying. There's no way you'd abandon your friend. Ugh, I'm just so confused. I don't know what to do. He really did something unspeakable, but I wish everyone would just calm down and talk. Not like anyone will ever listen to me. Hey, why is it when you say something, do something, everyone's always listening to you? Why is it so easy to trust you? I know, right? <laughs> I know, right, Andrew? How are you doing today? I feel like I might have competition. I want to see one of those. Oh, like the friendship wheel. Yes, yeah, see who he's with, essentially. That's true. You're working every day. You're working when I get up, when I doze off, when I'm herding cattle, catching birds. Even when I'm eating, you're still working. You've done so much good for so many folks around here. If they ain't listening to you, they ain't listening to no one. All right. I gotta prove myself to everyone. Then they'll finally listen to what I have to say for once. Andrew, today was your first day back. How did it go? Let me see. 
I don't know, what did we do before? I mean, going to his house was my idea anyway. Ugh, I really don't know what to do. Think, Elsie, think. Well, I ain't giving up on him. He ain't innocent, but there must be some reason. But I don't know. All I know is I still got to do some growing on my own. I don't know what to do next. Ugh, I think I've been thinking too much today. My brain's all used up. Um, what do you help people around town? People in town? I don't reckon they want my help no more. When I go near them, they think I'm gonna do a prank or something. They just want to get rid of me. Getting used to a new course, people felt so uncomfortable. Yeah, sometimes it takes a while to get back in the swing of it. I reckon I'll start with helping Ma and Pa. All right, I got it. I'm gonna learn from you. I'm gonna be someone people can rely on. I'm gonna get serious. Start small, you know? I reckon getting the old man, I, I mean Pa, to respect me is my first step, huh? All right, I'm feeling better now. Thanks. Let's head back now, yeah? Look! A shooting star! Did you see it? Quick, quick! Make a wish! Shooting stars are so beautiful. Did you make a wish? What'd you wish for? Oh! I mean, I, I'm not interested in that, but it <laughs> doesn't work if you say it. All right, all right. Keep it a secret then. I want to tell you mine, though. I wish that we could be friends forever. Thanks for staying with me. I know I can go on a bit. All right, I gotta get. See you later. There we go. In our city, I have about 70k. Had a lockdown today and had an extreme message sent out to everyone to run, hide, fight. I'm on the east coast of Canada, it was a wild and lasted 20 minutes and nothing came of it. I'm glad nothing came of it. That is really scary, though. I don't think we ever had a proper. We had drills when I was in school, but nothing ever actually came of those, you know? Okay, hardwood plank, rubber shells, those are done, so I just need that one more plank. And I think we're done. There we go, okay. So it's late, but I'm gonna attempt to install this last one here. Just because I'm competitive and I wanna get it done before anyone else. <laughs> Just gonna have to do some running though. Redacted. Redacted indeed. Okay, yes, up this way. <laughs> Wasn't sure if I was heading in the right direction. I feel like those cuties are meant to be closer to the sign on the mini map. Kim Hart's redacted all those cards. <laughs> Can you imagine? So now I wish we could go like sand surfing. Make this so much faster. Oh. I think my. When I'm going straight down, my. Uh... There we go. For a while there, going down that hill, if I was pointing straight, um, the sound of my footsteps disappeared. <laughs> installed yeah I know this is such a slow trip out at least we have that going for us now when we do want to go out there okay it is late <laughs> a 
Let's go to bed. Yeah, I was hoping, to be honest, they would move that station or that stop by the Geekler station because it's just it's so out of the way. From Yan, I heard you fixed up both those stations yourself. Good work, newbie. It's good to see Builders take a shine to some competition once in a while. This teamwork and friendship just creates inefficiency, and inefficiency costs money. But here's your reward. As promised, I hope to see this attitude more often. And from Katori... Attention all Sandrock residents, at last the moment we've all been waiting for is soon to arrive. Victoria's Golden Goose Extrava Plaza and the Sandrock Museum in Sandrock, we don't say, are reopening with fabulous new additions and attractions. Aren't you all on the edge of your seats? Well, you better be because I'm betting the farm on this one and, oops, this pencil doesn't have an eraser. Oh, well, better just go for it. Uh, the Golden Goose has heard your wishes of anticipation and tomorrow your prayers will be answered. With the grand reopening of the Golden Goose Extrava Plaza and Museum. See you all soon. Katori. Fun! That's exciting. I feel like I should maybe check out the, uh, the museum, actually. I was wondering why they didn't have, like, a sandfish thing. Maybe now they will. For our map, we have take a hint, and that's it. <laughs> that's it for today. Let's go see what this is all about. <laughs> oh my god, Brandon. <laughs> Ooh, what's this all about then? Talking to my man, maybe? And so you see, uh, that mischievous little Mion made a teensy little mistake. When she said that we don't charge for overnight commissions, uh, what she meant to say is that actually, we do. In fact, that's an understatement. We charge out the wazoo for overnight commissions. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know all about the overnight policies. It's just that Mian said she thought she could get us a discount. Yes, well, she's been overruled. Sorry, old pal, but if we made an exception for you, we'd have to start making exceptions for everyone. And that would be far too exceptional. <laughs> yeah, well, I wouldn't want to shortchange the good folks over at the Commerce Guild. That's what I love about you, Owen! Always so perfectly punctual with your payments. Well, I must be going. My employees won't reprimand themselves, don't you know? <laughs> so long! Oh, hey! Uh, you've come at just the right time. So, the wildest thing happened. Uh, Grace had a little spat with the oven and, uh, <laughs> long story short, blew the whole kitchen to smithereens. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't worry, everyone's fine. And luckily, Mian was available to help out with damage control. So that's all well and good. My issue now is that the night the kitchen exploded, Grace insisted she'd take a pay cut until all the repairs were paid for, and she wouldn't take no for an answer. But now, now without Mian's discount, I just can't let Grace foot the bill. She'd be scraping by for months, if not years. Why is he so good? I like this man. I'm not actually, I'm like, you know, if, if Owen, or sorry, if Logan isn't available, I'm, I'm pretty happy. <laughs> I paid Yen already. It's water under the bridge in my mind. Cause you know, these things happen. I, I can't stand letting her take on such a huge burden. She's just a student. All right, so here's where you come in. As a builder, you can just convince her that the repairs aren't that expensive. <laughs> then she won't feel so bad, and maybe she'll just forget about the whole thing. It's foolproof. 
I mean, it is dishonest, but... So Mike was just saying, by the way, in before we find out he's a secondary bad guy. <laughs> what is really sweet, though? He's a strong candidate. See, that's the scary thing. What? It, what what's wrong with him, you know? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> you guys, you guys know my track record. Even if it's someone who I... I have never met if I just look at them and they turned out to be the bad guy <laughs> in video games. We're not gonna have a repeat of Rune Factory 5, okay? Um, you know what? I'm gonna say let's go, but only because I like him. <laughs> All right, uh, but uh, let's not be too hasty now. We need to be prepared if we're really gonna change Grace's mind. She really has a way of turning things around on you. <laughs> uh, maybe she's on the debate team or something. Here's the deal. Whatever she asks you, just follow my lead. Capiche? Don't let her throw you off your game. Stick to the plan. Stick to the plan, okay. Guess we're as ready as we're ever gonna be. Let's go track down Grace. I'll be right behind you. <gasps> oh, I am so... My character is so tired. Worried. He's gonna fall for the church's stories. He may have already. See, that's the scary thing. She upstairs? Oh no, it's just an area. Okay. I just need to put in a bit of salt. <gasps> oh. uh, thanks, boss. Ah, <laughs> seems someone hasn't quite learned their lesson, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, look who I've brought. Your friendly neighborhood builder, here to help us come to a, a conclusion on that whole explosion incident oh hey and you're still on about that owen that was a terrible mess and i'm completely to blame i'll be footing the bill in full for the kitchen restoration regardless of what you may have told the builder here <laughs> century right uh, hey uh, come on grace it's it's no biggie and and even if it was the blue moon has plenty set aside for rainy days or explosive days for that matter Anyway, everything is taken care of now, and it hardly cost me a dime. Uh, don't believe me? Just ask for a second opinion here. Owen is winking at me. You could do that some more if you want. Hmm. All right, I'll bite. You plan to tell me the truth now, don't you? Mm. Oh. Let's begin. What is your name? Y what? Huh? Where are you going with this one? I have my reasons. Your name, please? Crystal. Okay, next question. Next, where are you from originally? High wind? High wind. Nice weather this time of year, yes? Very windy, I've heard. That'll do. Now I know what you look like when you're deciding whether or not to answer truthfully. Next, I'll be asking what I really want to know. Oh! And don't even think about bending the truth to help Owen change my mind. Got it? I can read you like a book. Oh, dear. Now, Builder, tell me. How much did it cost to renovate the Blue Moon Kitchen? <clears throat> you know, uh, more than a few glasses of milk. <laughs> but less than a herd of yakmo. <sighs> Grace, it's fine. I wish you'd just forget about all this. Chat, I need help. <laughs> should I... <sighs> Which way should I go about this, chat? I'm gonna let you decide. I'm indecisive and I don't like conflict. <laughs> I just want to be with this cutie. I'm going to want to help a student, but if she wants to pay, then let her pay, right? Ten dollar, Miguel. <laughs> Ten gold is expensive. The truth shall set you free. <laughs> Pretty sure I said cheap. 
Oh god. The Greeks will kill you if you lie. I mean, I'd be dying for a good cause, though. Look at Owen. He went with what he wanted. I feel like I might just do it, too. I'm very tempted by the ten goals. <laughs> yep. Just like I said. Hmm. I see. Next. The events in question occurred two days prior, and on the second day, when I came to work, the kitchen was already as good as new. Something here doesn't add up. Don't tell me you builders are dabbling in magic. Explain. What's your angle, Grace? The two new builders in town are both riled up and full of vinegar. You're just used to old Mason and his whiny ways. Nothing unusual here, right? Um... I mean, technically, I do finish things really fast. Like, I, I do. <laughs> I make a point in this game to try to finish things as fast as possible. Um, I don't know. I guess it's normal. Hmm. I see. Next question. Regardless, Owen must have had to pay me on for working overnight. Tell me how much of that would have been. Ah, uh, well, uh, be that as it may, <laughs> the kind lady that she is, Mian gave me a discount. Uh, the difference in the bill was so small, I almost forgot about it. <laughs> you charge out the wazoo? Yeah, just a little more than usual. Okay, next question. <sighs> grace, 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 Grace. Enough with the third degree. There's really nothing more to be said. Boss. You sure have a lot to say for someone who says there's nothing to say. Why do you always butt in whenever I ask a question, huh? It's starting to seem like you two are in cahoots. <laughs> cahoots? I, I mean, uh, what even is a cahoot, really? I think this whole ordeal has you on edge. Uh, but, all right, have it your way. I'll zip it. Continue with the interrogation, please. See, I don't really feel either way. About Markiplier, I think he's, you know, done some amazing things. Um, great content creator, so on and so forth. Don't really watch his stuff overly often, just here and there. Owen, whoever voices Owen, <laughs> could actually be a Markiplier voice double. He, it's so close. <laughs> if something like this happened in the Commerce Guild, would your boss, Yan, handle it like Owen? Which is to say, would he insist on paying the damages out of his own pocket? <laughs> I mean, I don't really know, to be honest. I don't think he would, but I don't really know. Yeah, but the thing is, I think you do. I don't! <laughs> hmm. Bet you two think you're pretty slick, huh? Owen, it couldn't be more obvious. You did put up to this little charade, however... He said no way. All right. That's the ticket. Oh, whew. Now we can finally move on from this. Owen, I must say, your dedication to your employees makes you not just the owner here, but an inspiring leader as well. I'm proud to call you my friend. <laughs> oh, shucks. Well, I think we wouldn't be seen eye to eye if not for the builder here. <laughs> uh, you might even say we have an unspoken bond. Here take this for your troubles. Call it a consultation fee. Yes, thank you for helping us resolve this. I'm in your debt. No, no. <laughs> no debts. That's the whole point of all this. <sighs> all right. Let's get back to it. Catch you, Builder. You can catch me all you want. How about that? No, I'm Hi. <laughs> Just came right up to me. Um, no, again, absolutely wouldn't, but like, I've never been in that situation. Hello. So maybe he would. I don't think he would, but. Hey, see you around. Cut, sir, and he is nice. That was an interesting little quest there. Okay, let's see. Um, so I don't have any quests ongoing, and there's nothing 
here either. Um, let's take a look at our commissions. Oh, I did also want to check out the museum. We are going to go look at that in a second here. Plastic pipe, frying pan, switchboard. These are really easy. Um, take these ones. Ooh, yeah, research. Good idea, too. Um, wait, sorry. So we're taking some of these and some of those. Those are not plastic pipes. <laughs> These are plastic pipes. There we go. So we'll have that on the go. I ran into my fence. <laughs> no one saw that. Hello. Thanks, Builder. You're as reliable as the Atarn Express. Uh, so long, partner. Okay, so while we're waiting for that to finish, let's go check out the museum. And I was also thinking, you guys, um, just because it seems like we only have this one thing left, main story-wise, um, in this current update, what we might do is we might take a couple days off of uh, Sandrock, that being said, I have plans for tomorrow and then I'm off for Thursday and Friday. So if it's out by Saturday, we'll stream it. Um, but we might be uh, running out of uh, content here in a little bit. So we might have to pick our next game sooner rather than later. Um, I wonder if I finish one of these or not. You already donated. Okay. Um, I think that's everything I can currently build then. But yeah, look at this though. There's so much more space. This is a bit more like it. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'd love to, you know, really finish the update. It's a shame about the bug. Oh, there's like small display stands now too. No fish tank or anything, but that's okay. Okay, research. Let's go see what else we can ask for. And hey, you know, even if we don't need any more machines for our next quest, um, and to finish off this update, we'll probably need them in the future, so I may as well get them done now. Everything on this first page is almost done. Generates power by burning almost anything. That sounds interesting. See you later. Uh, I don't really have a plan other than tomorrow. I don't have a plan for what we're gonna do next. I had a couple, like, little things up my sleeve, um, but I'm not sure, really. Maybe we'll do a poll and figure it out all together. I definitely want to work through more new games. Not the other page, no. No, I've only just cracked into that one. <laughs> Sonic. <laughs> Maybe when we hit that redemption. Sonic's new. Final Fantasy VII Remake? I mean, that's not new, but it's still very tempting. Um, but yeah. I think you guys, this is where I am going to wrap it up for the day with my raccoon eyes, because my character has been to bed late <laughs> over the last couple days. Um, this might be the last time we play Sandrock for a little while, depending on when and if they get that update out. Um, if they get it out soon, I'll come back to it. If not, I'll save it for whenever they release yet another update. Um, Cause you know, either way is fine for me. Um, thank you guys so much for hanging out there today. I really do appreciate it. I always love hanging out and chatting with you guys. Let's see who's live and do a little raid. Yeah, I will definitely check out the picture. If you guys wouldn't mind, copy down that raid message. You don't need to use the emotes. You can use 
your own, you can use someone else's, or uh, you don't have to use any at all. <laughs> um, doo -doo -doo. Oh, Wade Lady's streaming some Disney Dreamlight Valley, and I, I'm very interested in that game. Let's go see what she's up to. She's absolutely lovely if you have never met her. Um, such a sweetheart. Has a really cute dog. Very pretty hair. <laughs> um, and yeah, just thank you all so, so very much for being here. I'll see you all tomorrow. Remember to bring your tissues. Thank you for the follow, and I'll see you all next time.